need to go get a ball, any ball that can bounce. It can be a tennis ball, a volleyball, um, just any ball that can bounce. And while you're running to go get your stuff, we're going to get started with our warm-up. For today's warm-up, we're going to do um, four combinations. We're going to put them together in a sequence. So the first combination is going to be, we're going to do 16 walks, and then we're going to do two grapevines, or four grapevines. Grapevine to the right, and then step behind, step together. We're going to do that four times. So we're going to call that walk and grapevine. Okay? And then the second part is going to be a slide and knee lift. So you're going to slide for four, and knee lift two. Slide for four and knee lift two, okay? And then the third part is gonna be jacks and a kick. So you're gonna go two jacks, one, two, kick, kick, one, two, kick, kick. We'll do that four times. And then the last one is called a circle and jump. And you're gonna jump two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're gonna reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we'll repeat that two or three times. And then we'll just start from the top. So we're gonna put those four combinations into a sequence. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna do walk and grapevine first. Start walking. Grapevine. Grapevine. Walk, five, six, walk it out, one, good, now slide in knee lift, slide, two, three, four, knees, knees, slide, two, three, four, knees, knees, slide, two, three, four, knees, Knees, slide, two, three, four, knees, jacks and kick. One, two, kick, kick. One, two, kick, kick again. One, two, kick, kick. One, two, kick, circle jump. One, two, three, four, reverse. One, two, three, Four again, one, two, three, four, reverse, one, two, three, four, knees, toes, knees, knees, toes, knees, up, knees, toes, knees, up, knees, toes, knees, up, knees, toes, knees, from the start, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. One, three, four, five, six, great vine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, slide in knee, slide, knee, slide, knee, slide, knee, slide. Knees, jacks and kick. One, two, kick, kick. One, two, kick, kick. Two more. One, two, kick, kick. One, two, kick. Jump in circle. One, two, three, four. Reverse. Two, three. Again. One, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, knee, knee, toe, knee, kick, knee, toe, knee, again, knee, toe, knee, kick, knee, toe, knee, walk it out. Six, great find right. Again. Good. Good job. Good job, everybody. Okay. So, by now, you probably should have your ball. Everybody should have her ball. Go ahead, get your ball. And 
since today we're working on underhand, um, we're going to be doing some two square activities. And everything in two square, it was with the underhand, two hands with underhand. Just like this, underhand striking. So let's do some things to ourselves with ourselves first to warm up. First, let's just toss the ball and catch. Toss the ball up, drop and catch. Okay, good. Using your underhand, two hands and underhand. Okay, now let's just toss it up and catch. Hand underneath the ball. Good job. Make sure your hands are under the ball. Let's do one hand under the ball. Just toss and catch. Eye hand coordination. Switch hands. Just kind of getting warmed up, getting ready for what we're going to do today. Good job. How about some side to side? Again, your hand is under the ball. All right. So now I want you to drop, strike the ball up, and catch it. So drop, strike, catch. Drop, strike it up, catch. Drop, strike it up, catch. One more time. Drop, strike, catch. Drop, strike, catch. Good. Now let's see if we can keep it going without catching it. So you're going to bounce, and every time strike it, let it bounce and keep it up in your space. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Make sure you're striking with two hands. There you go. Let's see. You guys got it? Good. So you can use little ball, big ball. Make sure two hands striking it up. Good job, guys. All right. And just for fun, let's see if we can keep it up with our hands without letting it hit the ground. Just do some play taps. Come tap it up. Quick hands. Light fingers, nice and easy. All right, good job, guys. All right, so today we're going to be doing some two square activities. And on these activities, you either need a partner or um, you can use the wall. At my house, I know my front door has a floor in front of it, so it's a great place to bounce the ball, and I can use the front door as my partner. So if you don't have a partner, use your front door or someplace, a wall in the house, or in, the, in, the, um, in your garage, that might be a good spot too. But if you have a partner, go ahead and get, um, I got some belts and an umbrella to make two squares. All right. So there's my middle line. My umbrella is the middle line. And in two square, you really just need just two small squares. If you're outside, you can use a sidewalk. Just use the squares on a sidewalk. But here's our squares. You can use belts. You can use a string, umbrella, a mop, a broom. Okay? So our squares are very small, right? And would you guys go ahead and come on, on coach? So now we're going to do some two square just lead up activities. And if I were you, I don't want you to stand in your square. I want you to stand behind your square. And when we're doing these activities today, we got to make sure the ball bounces, um, goes over the net and bounces inside each other's square one time. So for warm up, I just want you to toss, do an underhand toss for about 30 seconds, coach. We'll get some music. And for about 30 seconds, I just want you to toss and catch underhand. All right, good. Practice getting in the square. You don't have to do a, a hard toss at all. It's a small, small area. You should be able to play this in your hallway or in the kitchen, somewhere on the floor close by. Again, while they're doing it here, remember, you can always do it by a wall. So the wall is your friend. You can always do it against a wall. Good job. All right, they got that down easy. Let's go ahead and stop there. All right, so now we're going to do a bounce serve. We're going to practice serving it. So she's going to drop it and serve it into Coach's uh, square, and he's going to catch it and do the same thing back. So go ahead and bounce and serve. Underhand. Um, no, no, it's two hands. We're doing two hands. In two square, in two square and four square, we have to use two hands. So two hands. Okay, and just one second. So we're not playing volleyball. That's a good, that's a good hit. But today we're just doing two open hands. So go ahead and let's use this ball, coach. It'll be easier for everybody to see. All right, so you're just going to bounce and hit. Two hands underneath. Now bounce and hit. Striking with two hands underneath the ball. Drop and hit underneath the ball. 
and I want you to practice catching it. Okay, so drop and hit just like that. Let's do that for about 30 seconds. All right, go ahead and start. We got to know how to serve it because that's how we start the game. Good. Make sure it bounces inside the square. It's a very soft hit. In two square, the squares are very small, so you don't need to ha hit it very hard at all. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and take it to a rally. All right, so on the rally, we're gonna just keep it going. I'm gonna drop and serve it. We're gonna hit it back and forth without stopping. And you keep going until someone messes up. Okay, again, working on our underhand striking. Good job. Now, oh, go ahead. Now, if, he, if somebody catches it, that would be your point. Or if we hit a line, then that would be a mess up. Or if it bounces two times in a square, that would be a mess up. So, coach, I want you to tell me uh, when to stop. When you see a mistake, say stop. Okay? Here we go. That would be a stop, right? Okay. It's, I had to stop because I let it bounce twice before I hit it. All right, let's see. You guys go, um, let's do one more. Let's see this. Now remember, you have to hit with two hands. So if you see somebody hit with one hand, that's also a mistake. Whenever you see a mistake, say stop. Here we go. Stop, right? Okay, stop. That's a mistake because I hit it out of the square. So that would be coach's point. Coach, you get to serve it since you, I made the mistake. All right. Whoops. Okay, stop because he hit the line, so my get to serve it now. All right, ready? Let's try one more time. Up. Oh. One hand. I hit it with one hand. So whoever messes up, the other person gets a point and they get to serve. So for like about a minute, let's try you two playing. And let's do this. If somebody messes up, give the ball to that person, and the other person has to do one, one jumping jack. So every time you mess up, if you mess up, you have to do one jumping jack before you start again. All right, let's go. One minute. Oh, stop. She hit it out of the square. One jumping jack, coach. All right, let's go again. Good job. Remember, it's a very soft hit. The squares are very small. Up, oh, hit the line, hit the line. Oh, all right. All right, coach. Now, if you have an extra person, whoever messes up can step out and you can go in. All right. All right. Good job, guys. You can always change the exercise. Oh, it hit the line. So there we go. All right, so this time if you mess up, let's do a toe touch. Yeah, all right, go. Woo. All right, it's kind of hard to tell when it goes out. Good job, guys, good job. Okay, good job. All right, let's stop it there. All right. So I want to show you a couple things that you guys can do with this game. Um, First, you know, once you get going and you practice, you're going to try to mess up your partner. So the strategy is to try to make them, you know, come in close or go far and move it around in their square and uh, mess with them. So right now, let's try just hitting back and forth again, but let's try to mess each other up a little. All right, here we go. Oh, I hit the line. All right, let's go. Kind of go side to side. Up. Oh, hit one hand, one hand. All right, here we go. Try to mess them up. Move them side to side if you can. Oh, out. It's hard because the square is small. All right, so let me give you some other options real quick. So when you're playing this, you have to, whoever starts it, has to say the name of the game you want to play. So if you want to play just regular two square, then you're playing just the way we just learned. Regular two square, drop it and hit it with two hands. But you can also play categories. So I'm going to say names of colors. And that way, every time we hit it, we have to name a color. And if somebody forgets to name the color or says the same color, then it's a point for me or whoever messes up. All right, let's try it. All right, two square names of colors. Ready? Red. Blue. Purple. Green. Yellow. Green. Silver. Black. White. 
Yellow. Oh. Coach already said yellow. I said yellow, so it'd be his turn. Now, why don't you pick a different category, Coach? Uh, let's name NBA players. Oh, my gosh. Coach is going to name some NBA players. All right, <laughs> NBA players. <laughs> you want to come on in? <laughs> All right, here we go. LeBron James. Uh, Okay, uh, make sure you say it I'm when you're hitting it. So try it again, Coach. Bounce it and then hit it on the hit. Kobe. Mike Jackson. Uh, yeah. Dirk. No. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Now let's try another one. You come on in, Coach. Why don't we pick um, a food category? Let's try a food category. You can do names of food. All right, so names of food. <laughs> All right, so we have chicken and fried chicken. You know, they could, they could both count. That would be fine. That would be fine. Okay, so that is two square. And like I said, you can play with names of categories. Um, you can hit with one hand. Also, if you are... The leader, you can say one hand. Um, so we can say, you know, two square, one hand only. And we can play the same exact game, two square, with one hand. So let's try that real quick. All right, here we go. So when you're the king or you're the leader, you get to actually name the game. Ah, so that was out. Okay, so those are the basics of two square. And like I said, if you use a sidewalk outside, that's a perfect spot. Those sidewalks are perfect size squares. And um, so now we've been working on underhand with two hands. So now we're going to do two-hand handball, or just, excuse me, one-hand handball. In this game, you can hit with one hand or two. And the rules are pretty much the same, except we're working on striking with one hand in our hand, uh, with one hand with our hand. So let's go ahead and do some warm-up drills for this, and then we'll move, work into the game as well. So go ahead and come on in. And you two right now, all I want you to do is just toss and catch with one hand. So toss, let it bounce, bounce it into his square. Yeah, toss it and catch. Toss and catch with one hand. Just warm up, good. Yes. You can use your right hand. I would use your left hand too, because you never know when you're gonna hit with your left. Just toss and catch using your underhand. And I just, Call this like a little tennis game. Oh man, but yeah, two square. But we're playing tennis, and the brum, the umbrella is our net. Good job, guys. All right, let's stop right there. Okay, now you're gonna do your drop and your hit. Okay, so you're gonna bounce it and hit it with one hand, just like a volleyball serve almost, except for we're bouncing it. Okay, again, bounce and hit with your underhand, one hand. Okay, let's practice that. Go ahead, coach. For about 30 seconds, let's practice the one hand serve. Remember, it's a small area, so hit it very lightly. You can only bounce one time and it must go over the middle. Perfect, perfect. Right, good job. Try to keep it in the square. If it goes past the belts, that would be out. Oops. Okay. All right, guys, great job. Okay, let's stop it there. All right, thanks. All right, so now we're gonna rally and we're gonna keep it going just like we did with the two hands. So we're gonna serve it and see how long we can keep it going, hitting it with one or two hands, it's up to you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Good job, coach. All right, all right. All right, let's try it again. Ready? Oh, I see you put some spin on it. <laughs> all right, come on in, coach. All right. And on this one, you can hit it either from the side or underneath or the two hand. But if anybody hits overhand, then that's a, a point against them. All right? All right, let's try it. Let's go for about one minute. You guys at home, you practice too. Here we go. 
Yes. Again, remember, you can do this against your wall at home or against your front door. All right. Here it is. There we go, there we go. Keep it going. All right, we got about 30 more seconds. Let's do a push-up. If you mess up, you gotta do a push-up. Any way you can do it, one push-up. Yes, oh, 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 oh. I don't know, both of you kind of looked out. I can't, I couldn't tell on that one, coach. Good job. If you can't do a push-up, do a floor push-up. Go all the way down and all the way up. All right. One more time. Good job. Yes. Per <laughs> get down, girl, get down. No. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and stop right there. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, so we've done underhand. We did two square, and then we did handball or netball in a short square. And now we are going to work, since we have a little time, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to work on some um, overhand, and we're going to do a little warm-up game to spike ball. So just take your jump ropes or your ropes or your uh, phone charging cords, anything you got, and just make it into one circle. All right. And for warm up, for about 30 seconds, all I want you guys to do is just dribble around your circle. And your hand now is on top of the ball. So now it's an overhand, an overhand strike. So I just want you to dribble around the circle to warm up for about 30 seconds. You want to get, oh, there you go. All right, let's go. 30 seconds. Just dribble around the circle, warming up. So now we are spiking and striking down using the overhand instead of underhand. Okay, we started out with underhand. We did two hand underhand. We did one hand underhand. Now we're gonna do overhand and strike it down. Good job. Okay, let's reverse. Go the other way, coach. There we go. Just warming up, practicing striking down. Good job. All right. Good job. Now let me take one ball away. We're going to use uh, the smaller ball for spike ball. Let's go ahead and keep that tennis ball, coach. All right, good deal. All right, so now, just for about 30 seconds, let's move. I want to use our slide step, and I want to bounce and catch to each other. All right, go. Yep, I want us to slide, bounce, and catch. All right, now just bounce and catch, get in moving. And then when you hear me say reverse, we'll go the other way, and you can change hands, or you can keep the same hand. But just move a little. Let's get moving then. Ready? Here we go. 30 seconds. Just bounce and catch. Good. Using your overhand, just bounce and catch. Just want to get your feet moving because in spike ball, you actually move around a lot more than you do in two square. Good job. Reverse. And try your other hand if you want. There you go. Good job, guys. Easy, easy. Okay, good. Let's stop right there. Okay, so now we're going to practice the serve and spike ball. And I'm going to just hit it to you. You're going to use your, your weak hand. If you're right-handed, you're going to use your left hand. You're just going to toss it up, a small toss, and then spike it down for the next person to catch. So we're going to do toss, spike, and catch. Um, when you spike it, we don't want it to go higher than somebody's shoulders. So you want to make it try to bounce between their knees and their shoulders. So here it is, toss. Spike, and he's going to catch it. Toss, spike, and catch. Good. Toss, spike, and catch. And that spike, that's what we're doing. We're striking down with an overhand. And you can hit it pretty hard. See, it bounces pretty high. Sorry, coach. All right. So let's do that for about 30 seconds. All right. Go ahead and start. There we go. Toss with your left hand, spike with your right. There you go. And in tennis, you also use this form. You toss and then you hit with the racket. So toss with your left hand, spike with your right. And if you're left-handed, toss with your right hand, spike with your left. 
Try to make it land inside the circle. There you go. Yes. All right, good. About five more. Looking good, guys. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, now let's take it, do the same thing, but well, let's move around the circle as we do it. So same thing, but we're gonna move as we do it. Yep, toss and spike and move. Okay, good. Let's reverse and go the other way. Toss and spike. There you go. Little toss, little spike inside the circle. Awesome. Okay, good. All right. So now, of course, we're going to try to keep it going just like we did in two square. It can only bounce one time in the circle, and you can only hit it once. So, Coach, you ready? All right, here we go. Keep striking it good. Yes. Try to use both hands. All right, striking down, working on our striking. <laughs> so you're gonna try to mess them up. All right, so <laughs> here you go. Coach, you come on and let's go together. All right, and remember, if you don't have a partner, you can do these skills around the, the, jump, the circle yourself, striking down, or you can try to play against the wall. All right, let's go, here we go. Okay, go ahead and serve it, toss and hit it. Perfect. All right. Ah, okay, I'm out. Come on in, coach. All right. Remember, toss and strike down. Everything's down. Yes. Good job, guys. Oh, that's all right. I'll come in. All right, you ready? Here we go. Come on in, coach. Try to mess them up. You're going to try to mess them up. Make a move. They can go anywhere around the circle. Oh, she got me. She got me. Uh oh. Here, coach, try this ball. There you go. Try to mess each other up. You got it. Good. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Oh, nice. All right, one more time. I want to play you with this ball, coach. Hold this one for me. All right, you ready? Here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's close. All right. Well, anyway, guys, um, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we worked on our two-handed underhand striking, one-handed underhand striking, and then striking the ball overhand. Two square and net ball and spike ball. So I hope you enjoyed the games and activities today and that you got to uh, use them. And I want to just sign off. I'm Coach Moody. This is Coach Johnson, Coach Aguirre. And remember, um, stay safe, stay active, and be healthy. All right, love you guys.